In today's video, I'm going to share with you 7 more tips for Fireteam Dirty Bomb. This is my third tips video for this mode, and if you want to see the previous episodes, you can either click on the playlist link in the description or click on the pop-up that appears at the end of the video. Tip number one is how to traverse this building on the Alpine map. This building is such a power position and there is always a team holding it down, making it hard to detonate the nearby bombs. Instead of running up the stairs or landing on the roof, head to the right side of the building and run in mantle onto the small roof. Then jump on these boxes and follow the path until you are on the roof. Then jump on this box and then jump and grab onto the ladder to access the roof. Congratulations guys, you are now a rooftop camper's worst nightmare. Tip number two is how to sneak up on this bomb on the Ruka map. Instead of running up the stairs or trying to land on the roof or balcony, head to the backside of the building and jump onto the box and then jump up into the second story window. There is also a great line of sight here. Head to the hills behind the building and aim into the window. The tip number three is how to easily access this bomb on the Ruka map. Instead of running up the stairs and dying to gas mines or bouncing Bettys or that annoying shotgun camper, simply mantle through this window. For some reason, no one expects this. I get called horrible things through DEFCOMs, which of course, I consider a nice little bonus. The tip number four is to use RCXDs to their full potential and please, please stop leaving them on the ground. While operating an RCXD, you can of course blow people up, which is fun, don't get me wrong, but you can also tag enemies and give out those next level callouts to your team. Guys, please start using the RCXDs, they are so helpful, especially when you have a good team that is communicating well. Tip number five is to glide off cliff sides and high spots. I know it sounds simple, but I see a lot of people choosing to run around in the open and then die a really annoying death, which could have easily been avoided by instead jumping off a cliff and activating their shoot. Tip number six is to change your interact and reload behavior in the settings. I have mine set to tap to interact, which means I have to tap square to pick up loot and other items. And if I want to reload, I simply have to hold in square. There are four different options to choose from, so make sure to try them out and find one that works best for you. If you're having trouble finding this setting, hit options on your controller, Head to the controller submenu, then scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see interact slash reload behavior. The tip number seven is to travel as a team, but keep your distance. Nothing is more annoying than getting a squad wipe because a guy you just killed landed behind your whole team and picked you up one by one. Pay attention to the background footage. Because I distanced myself from my team, I was easily able to protect their flank and keep the team alive. If you want to see more Fire Team Dirty Bomb tips and tricks videos, click on this tile. It will take you to my playlist with all my Fire Team Dirty Bomb tips and tricks videos in it. If you guys found these tips helpful, let me know in the comment section down below. Or better yet, let me know some of your Fire Team Dirty Bomb tips. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.